Hey, welcome to another innovation production. Today I'm going to be talking about roller blinds. Now, hopefully, I can give you a few tips that will help you save um, a, a lot of time and some money uh, when you're choosing roller blinds. Now, I'm, I'm an absolute beginner. Uh, before this, I knew nothing about roller blinds. But uh, a big shout out to Blind City, based in Melbourne, Australia, who are really helpful in guiding you through the process of uh, choosing blinds and, and installing them. Now, first thing I want to talk about is the different types of blinds. Um, one type, um, as you can see, the one behind is called sunscreen, and the one above here is called blockout. Now, they're used for different purposes. The sunscreen, as the name implies, blocks out the sun. So, uh, when it's daytime, you would have the sunscreen down, but you're still able to see outside because there's little holes in the, the sunscreen type of blind. Um, during nighttime, um, you want to use the blockout because it blocks out the, the lights from the outside. So for example, let's say if you want to sleep uh, and you have um, high sensitivity to light, uh, the blockout would be really helpful if you really need to have a, a, a very dark room to be able to sleep. But the other reason is that uh, when it's nighttime, you'll have the lights on inside, for example, if, you, if you're still awake. If you have the lights on inside um, and you only have a sunscreen, then people can see from the outside inside because it's brighter inside than outside. Uh, during daytime, it's brighter outside than inside, so people can't see inside, but you can see outside. Uh, so what you need is a blockout. A blockout actually um, completely blocks it out so that people can't see inside. So good for areas such as, you know, uh, bedrooms and bathrooms and things like that. So the second thing I want to talk about is the different um, ways of mounting the bracket. So you see here the bracket um, that holds the, the blinds up. Uh, this one here is called a face mount, which means it's sitting on the face of the, the window frame. But over here, you have uh, what you call a, a recess mount, where it actually sits uh, under the window frame. So it's either screwed into the, the, the bottom of the, the window frame or to the side of it. Now, this one looks more aesthetically pleasing, but there are reasons why sometimes you can't have the recess fit. Uh, for example, obstructions, which I'll talk about a bit later. Well, going back to this one, another consideration when you're looking at the, the mounting, whether it's recess or face, face fit, is that uh, a recess fit, you have to pretty much get the exact measurements of your window. Uh, in fact, you have to get three measurements um, along different um, parts of the window to make sure that you have um, enough clearance. Otherwise, if they make the roller blinds too big, it will not fit. So it's a bit more tricky like that. Whereas with the face mount, um, it can be a bit wider and you can still mount it to the frame as long as it's not too wide. The thing about the face mount as well is that if it's a bit wider and you sit directly over the, the window frame, uh, it means it can cover the gaps a bit better, or, albeit it sticks out a bit further. So it's a bit of a balance there. So the other consideration you would have is um, whether the blinds roll uh, over or roll under. So the one behind is rolling under, the one in front is rolling over. So this is pretty much a, a matter of preference, whether you like it over or under. Um, I think a lot of people think you know, the, the rolling over uh, is more aesthetically pleasing and, and cleaner, so you, can, you don't actually see the roll, but you just see the, the front of the, the blind coming down. Uh, in terms of pros and cons, the, the roll under can actually get the blind closer to the window, which means less of a gap, whereas a roll over means it's further away from the, 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 the window, which means there's potentially more of a gap there. In terms of brackets, you either have um, single brackets or you have double brackets. But obviously, double brackets are to have the sunscreen and blockouts um, on the one bracket. Um, this, is a, this is one type of... Um, Double bracket, but the one over here you see is a slimline one. The slimline one obviously looks a bit better, but this one sticks out a bit more. So the reason why you would have this one over the slimline is if you want both blinds rolling over. But if you have one blind rolling under, the, the one inside rolling under, and the blockout rolling over, then you can have the, the slimline one. So lastly, I want to talk about issues that you may encounter, and it's best that you actually um, discover these before you order the blinds. Now, the, the main issue is to do with any obstructions that may be in the way of the blinds going down straight. For example, in this instance, you see this um, door frame here that sticks out quite, quite a bit, which means that 
I cannot actually mount these blinds on, in a recessed fit, and I only discovered that afterwards. You may find other obstructions, for example, window winders or window locks, or even the, the depth of the window ledge itself. If it's, too, if it's too narrow, then you will have problems fitting in double blinds. So you really have to measure it and figure out how much um, space you need. So once you consider all these factors, I think you're ready to choose your, your roll blinds. And again, a big thank you to Blind City in Melbourne, Australia. Um, please do check them out. They have a good selection of um, quality blinds uh, with different price ranges, and they often have good sales on as well. And um, they've got a chat function on their website, um, which means that anytime you're stuck, you can just ask them a question online uh, instead of calling them. So yeah, uh, hopefully um, these tips will help you in, in deciding what blinds to choose and on some of the things you need to think about before you, you do buy the blinds because it is a big investment. Um, people spend up to you know $10,000 on blinds. Um, I didn't, but you know, um, depending on how many windows you have, you could spend a substantial amount of money. So um, yeah, hopefully this has been helpful to you. Uh, thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe.